Dang, this mug is big. It definitely does. My oysters. Okay. Okay. Got that little extra cut. Hot in the cut for you. Looks like you did. This one definitely got that space. Free books. It's, it's the private bedroom, uh, bathroom. Bedroom right here. Yeah. Yeah. What that like that? That switch ain't doing what I wanted to. Okay, that's what's going on. So that's what them lamps for. It's for the lighting in here. And then it's got that joint ceiling fan up there. Hell of a view. Hell of a view. I'm walking around like I own this thing. You are? It's my house. You got the young boy with me. We doing it big. You did? Y'all not doing it like us. That view nice though. I'm gonna say that. Downtown Atlanta. Yeah. I'm gonna need them to hit the windows for me one time. It's like the living room right there, just a little dining room. Kiddos, wifey. And it's the other bedroom. Nice little space. The eldest. Kitchen. Bang, bang, boom. That's not bad. Light switch. You like JoJo? Hmm? JoJo like it. Huh? Yeah. So we out, man. It's a late night. We in here. <laughs> yeah, I do YouTube. Life with Polo. Okay, then what? first, you record this. Kids, if you ever seen that TV show Six Days In, period, y'all, what's happening? This is me, the one and only, standing right here, Miss Aisha Patrice Lovett from that TV show Six Days In. Guys, let me give y'all my encouragement to y'all young ones. Take care of y'all family. Be very blessed, thankful that you got your family because I'm out here begging, struggling every day to survive. Nobody wants to hire me because of my criminal background. A 17-year-old boy, five years ago, killed our mom, me and my twin sister. She's doing life plus 96 years for murder, for, for a lot of murder stuff. And she was a blood. Kids, don't think because you got, your, got stuff going on for you that you'll never be out here. Put the camera over here. Going through the trash, down to find clothes, hygiene to survive. It's no joke. None. Last but not least, let me tell y'all boys, uh, I better not ever hear from your family. You coming out here in this world, slinging drugs, robbing people, you ain't gonna get nowhere in life. But during time or day, this right here, hello, period, is from me, the one and only Miss Lovett from the YouTube TV show, 60 Days In, standing in there, what? Dr. Martin, Martin, put it right this way, Martin Luther King Center. Okay. We out here, y'all. Yeah, in the ATL. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, um, like I was saying, okay, when you gonna come out, you gonna come, look. Oh, you gonna come out, yo, whoa. You gonna turn. Take this is the um gift shop right here. Yeah. Next to the next to that is the original church. That is where the senator um is part of the um part of the ministry and stuff is over there. That's the National Historic Park over there, and they're open, telling all, they got like a little movie um, theater. I think it's like 40 of them in there. That explains to the black, back to the, his, to our black leader um, time. His Mrs. King and Mr. King tomb grave is up this way. Hello. <laughs> it's right over there. 
Ah, oh, we gotta oh. go over there too. When you yeah. go to that light, that the king's house is on and popping. Okay, so you go four houses yeah. up. Yep. Okay. All right. Last I thing, don't get mad. Anybody got something with ice in it? Cause uh, I got this bottle of hot water. Anything nah, in that? Uh, nah, this, is empty. this is from last night. I don't matter. I can use it. This ain't got no ice in it. I though. don't give a crap. Uh, hey, right. and that's keeping it what real. <laughs> hey, cause if you don't keep it one thousand, you ain't gonna never know what's going on. All right, you be careful. Hey, I ain't worried about it. Cause that she man upstairs, he still got me. He God got bless me. you. God bless. Onto Auburn Avenue Northeast. Hang it in there. Freedom Walkway, you guys. I feel I feel different right now. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, baby, come on. And it is beautiful over here, though. They they got it looking nice. I ain't even gonna lie. They need to redo the walkway part, but I mean you did. Okay, this is the Toto. Yep, this is where they buried at. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. This this yeah. This how they yeah. They what he deserved right here. You feel me? Don't do that, baby. Yeah, it is. You might be changed from this day forward, Jojo, from touching that water, big dog. Shit, I want to touch it. Mm, don't take the what? Don't take the coins. That's bad. They said don't put coins in there. Jojo. He, Josiah. Me to drop my phone in that one. <laughs> Mama, you just dropped the coin in there. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. And now, by faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Like a mighty stream and righteousness until justice rolls down like water, we will not be satisfied. You did. I feel it, man. I feel it. Touch the glass, don't touch anything, Jill. Down there throwing that trash away.
Hold on, baby. That's our real dress, man. That's an important show. In another room, Jojo. Hell, all of this stuff is important too, man. This is crazy. Big dog go to him, man. You did. Yes, sir.
I think we can go around back and see something too. Alpha sorority in 1974, designated as a part of the National Historical Site in 1980, dedicated as part of Freedom Hall Complex 1982, renovated with assistance of the Johns Wax Fund, Inc. 1983. So they slowed down on building, and once the war was over, the community was able to build the rest of the church, the sanctuary. But at first, services were held below because that's how far they had gotten on building the church. So Fellowship Hall was the first four years of services. 1922, the sanctuary is completed, and that's why I say 100 years now. We're going to celebrate 100 years of the sanctuary and having services this year. So when you go up, you'll hear Dr. King. Of, uh, he did co-pastor here with his own dad. Yeah, I have one question. Is this the church that his mother was killed in? It is. Indeed. His dad had to survive a lot of tragedy. His dad was a pastor here for over 30 years. Um, and he survived his son, Martin, first was assassinated in 68. The next following year, his youngest son died in a questionable accident at his own swimming pool. Um, and then his wife was in this shop in this church. So Alberta was at the organ upstairs. You'll see the small organ, not the big one, but the one that's um, on the carpet below, on the main floor of the sanctuary to the right. Uh, she was sitting at that organ when a man named Marcus Chenault came in. He was from the north. He was disgruntled with the way the church was supposedly running things uh, in his mind. He was, he was mentally insane. Took out a gun and started shooting. Said he was going to take over the church. His intent was probably Daddy King, Martin Luther King Sr., the pastor, but that day he wasn't going to be the pastor. He was a guest pastor somewhere else. So Daddy King wasn't up on the pulpit. It was going to be a guest pastor up on the pulpit. And uh, anyhow, he ended up shooting Alberta and the Deacon Boyton. And um, finally, we did shoot others in the congregation. They died with their gun wounds. Finally, you know, he was able to be brought down. Um, he went to prison for the criminally insane. Dr. King's dad, you know, he, he didn't believe in the death penalty. He went in both cases and, and fought for both the murderer, both the murderers of his son, his son, I'm sorry, son and his wife, Alberta. In both cases, he asked for there not to be a death penalty. He went and took days. The individuals said uh, he was a, an incredible individual, but he endured a lot of pain in his life, Daddy King. Um, and the year after his wife he was, he was killed here, um, he then retired. So he had already done over 30, I mean, he had already practiced as a pastor here for over 30 years. So I think he, he's done his part, right? <laughs> Dr. King used to say longevity has its place, and I think he's talking about dad and granddad. Mm -hmm. 85 years of service to the church. His dad and granddad. Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, up to the sanctuary and then around and come out of the grandfather. 85 years of service.
church people used to say of old, thou shalt not get, thou shalt not kill. And Jesus came and said, No, thou shalt not get angry, because if you get angry, I'm not to kill you. The evil act of the evil desire. Now let me move on to the third part of our church. The third thing. 